Hey YouTube, Little Red 70733 here, and um, this is uh, another pet video. It's my leopard gecko tank. Um, I have um, my leopard gecko's name is Tiger Lily. She's in her bonsai. She is. Let's see if I can get her out. But this is Tiger Lily. She is, I think. Um, a tangerine carrot tail. Come here, honey. There we go. That's her. Yeah, I think she's a tangerine carrot tail. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I think that's tangerine. And then she, there's her carrot tail. Oh, carrot tail. I'm positive she's a carrot tail. I just don't know if she's a tangerine carrot tail. Um, like I said, her name's Tiger Lily. She's very sweet. She's just a good girl. She's a good girl. Yeah. Yeah. She loves hanging on your shoulders and just um, walking around with you. My mom will do that. She'll put her on her shoulders and she'll just go watch TV. She'll snuggle up to you and fall asleep. There we go, that's her. So, let me put her back and then I'm gonna show you the tank. There we go. And move this back. There we go, okay. So, first thing is first. I have a 29 gallon um, glass terrarium. Uh, it has sliding glass doors. Um, and a screen top that I can remove. I just, this is the lever that I use. Such tiny levers. If I let those go, I can lift this up. And then I have uh, my heating and lighting. For heating, I have one heating pad on her hot side. Just as you can see the cord. It's right under her bonsai, which is her hot hide. And then I have a heat emitter, which is not on because it is summer here where I live. And she does not need it. Another heat emitter, which is not on. Then she has her basking light on. Ooh, that is bright. Sorry. Hold on, let me turn that off. This is her basking light. She sits right on that log. Goes that up to the basking place. She doesn't really bask though. So, it must be warm enough for her. I don't know if you can tell the temperature, but uh, look at the red one, not the blue line, the red line. It says that it's like 79, I guess. Anyway, so it's 79. I know it should be hotter, so I guess I should actually turn one of these on. Turn the heat emitter on. But, um... There. It, um, but so, yeah, that's my heating lighting. I have three heat bulbs. Um, and then a heating pad. For my uh, substrate or bedding, I have a green recti carpet. I do recommend this, this is the best. Um, I do love it. It's so easy to clean. I just cleaned it, so it's all nice and clean. <laughs> um, for hides, I have, as I said, the, her hot hide is this reptile bonsai. It lets out some of the heat, but it's good under there, she loves it. and. Uh, there are little crevices she can go into. And uh, the, sometimes the crickets will jump on up here. Um, I don't really count this as a hide, more like a climbing toy, but she can go in there if she wanted to. It's right in the middle of her hot and cold. This is her cool hide. It is a magnetic rock. So if she goes in this way, you look at her and you can see her in there. It's her cool hide. And then for her moist hide, of this. I made this myself. Um, I put paper towel in her moist hide. See, it's just a Tupperware. And uh, I just cut a hole in it and she goes in it. There. Okay. So those are all her hides. And for climbing, like I said, this she can go in um, this thing. Uh, it has lots of crevices too. She can go into a lot of tunnels. And then she can climb on this, which I really like. 
she likes that too. It hangs right over her um, water, so she can um, go in there. So yeah, like if she accidentally falls, she's going into water, like a pool. Um, I don't put any extra food in here besides the crickets. She gets a strict diet of crickets. Anything else that I give her normally upsets her stomach or she doesn't really like it. Even wax worms, she just likes crickets. See, I got her from a breeder that only fed her mealworms as a, as a baby. And, um, oh, may I mention that, um, uh, I'll tell you that later, but, um, yeah, who only used to feed her mealworms. And so when I finally started feeding her crickets, she loved them and wouldn't eat anything else. <laughs> she stopped eating mealworms. She, she didn't want to eat them anymore. That's her pooping pad. Uh, that's what I like to call it. Um, I did a background, as you can see. But like I was going to say before, um, it is uh, Monday here. And it's Memorial Day weekend, so um, I get today off and tomorrow. But so it's Monday. And um, on Friday, it was her first birthday. Her first in, um, in your birthday. She is exactly one year old on from Friday. So that's my little one year old. See, there she is. There's the little girl. Anyway, so. That's pretty much it. Uh, the water, the food, the background. Yeah. That's it. Again, this is Little Red 70733 here with my leopard gecko, Tiger Lily, who is a um, tangerine carrot tail. And this is her 29 gallon enclosure. And uh, bye.